On the indictment announced uh, yesterday, we can only say that uh, this was done by the Specialist Prosecutor Office and the Specialist Chambers, and they are independent institution. Uh, we are not commenting on uh, their actions, but I can say that the EU is strongly supporting this institution because it's an important institution. On uh, all the other questions regarding the meeting in uh, Washington, you know that EU is not part of that meeting, so that's not up to us to comment, but you notice that uh, the representatives of Kosovo uh, withdrew from it and are not traveling. What is important for us is uh, to focus on the EU-facilitated dialogue, facilitated and this is what we are doing. And uh, we still think that uh, what the USR uh, Miroslav Lajčák has uh, announced after his meetings, both in Pristina and Belgrade, uh, that uh, the dialogue uh, should resume okay, in, should July resume in, Brussels. in July in Brussels. Thank you. Now, are there other questions on uh, these meetings um, tomorrow before we move to other themes? So I would ask only those who have a question on this to keep their hand raised for the moment. Thank you. Dujan. You have the floor. Press speak. There you go. Yes, you hello. Go. Uh, you hear me now? Um, so the, 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 the follow-up question is, how will these uh, charges uh, against President Tachi impact the, the dialogue and uh, will uh, the, the president be still a valid collocator for the European Union, uh, given this uh, new reality. And given that he still has a prominent role uh, uh, in uh, Kosovo political life, of course, uh, and in the governing coalition, how do you think this can impact the, the next stages in the dialogue? Thank you, Dushan. Thank you, Dushan. The EU and we repeat it very many times. We are the switch off your mind, maybe, please. Yeah, Thank you. The EU, and we keep repeating it all the time, is very committed to continue our engagement as a facilitator of, uh, of the dialogue between uh, Belgrade and Pristina. But um, we are not the ones who are dictating who are our interlocutors. It is uh, not for the EU to choose the interlocutors. It is for, in this case, for Kosovo um, and uh, its authorities to decide how their interests would be served in a best way and represented in the best way. So again, we are the facilitator who deals with partners, but we are not choosing this partner. So it's up to the partners and authorities in, on, on both sides to provide the interlocutors for us. And on the wider question of um, the internal political um, impact of these uh, events and of this indictment, um, the expectation of the EU is um, that um, Kosovo authorities will continue to uphold their commitments uh, towards the rule of law, towards the work and the mandate of the Specialist Prosecutor Office. And uh, I think everybody is aware that the uh, Kosovo government, uh, similarly to any other government basically all around the world, has a lot to do in terms of tackling the impact and consequences of the coronavirus uh, crisis. So the authorities uh, and their representatives need to devote all their energy, all their attention, and uh, all their focus on these issues, that means health-related issues, economy-related issues, social uh, issues, uh, fight against anti-corruption, etc., in addition uh, to the dialogue of, uh, with, the, with Serbia. So these are tasks which require enormous amount of energy and attention, and uh, this is the expectation of the European Union that the Kosovo authorities will will basically be dealing with it uh, in earnest and will be very serious in focusing all the energies to solve these issues. Thank you, Peter. Um, a technical comment, if I may, before we move on to the next questions. Uh, quite a few of you are commenting rightly on the fact that there's an echo. Just please make sure that once you have asked your question, you immediately uh, push the speak button again to switch off your microphone. We try to do it from here centrally. Um, but um, if we're not able to do it sufficiently quickly, then um, then uh, you stay on. So please switch off your mic after you have asked your question uh, so that we do not have to do it here because it can be more messy. Thank you. Now, other questions on uh, tomorrow's meeting only uh, for the moment, please. We're still on the same um, subject. Um, Odile, no? Okay. Ekrem.
you have the floor. I can press speak. Do you hear me? You. Yes. Yes. Uh, thanks, Eric. Uh, still a question for uh, Peter. Uh, what makes you so confident, and Mr. Lachak as well, that uh, the leaders from Pristina, Kosovo, will come to the EU mediated talks next month if they uh, cancel the meeting in Washington, White House? Yeah, I'm waiting for you to switch off. Yes. Thank you. Well, um, there is only there is only maybe yeah okay. Um, when we talk about the normalization between Kosovo and Pristina, uh, between Kosovo and and Serbia, we are talking about the EU facilitated dialogue. There is no alternative to the EU facilitated dialogue to address the normalization of relations between Kosovo and Serbia. That is why uh, we have the commitment from both sides as communicated uh, recently to the EUSR Lajčák, both in Pristina and Belgrade, commitment of both sides to resume the dialogue. We expect that uh, it would happen in July. And if it doesn't happen in July, you know, these are all speculations. Let's not jump ahead of the events. We have the commitment from both sides, and both sides know that there is huge need to restart the dialogue for the benefit of people in, on both sides and that uh, at one point the dialogue would need to be resumed if both sides are to progress on their path towards normalization and also towards the European Union, because in the end it's about their European future, and the European future for people in Kosovo and Serbia leads through the dialogue which is facilitated by the, by the EU. So, and there is no impact whatsoever about uh, cancellation of the event planned in Washington because, uh, as I said, there is only one EU-facilitated dialogue which requires commitment from both sides and facilitation by the EU, which is still there and we are, st we are still committed to proceed. Okay. Um, Ekrem, I see you still have your hand raised. Is that, you want to follow up? Yes, thank you, Eric. Thank you, Eric. I, Peter, I understand the commitment was made but Lowe's commitment made to Washington just came uh, yesterday, just uh, when President Stachy was on his way already. Now, the question, I'll make the question the other way around. Uh, reading a uh, reaction from Kosovo, now it seems that the Prime Minister uh, uh, Hoti, who is today in, 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 in Brussels, will be under extreme pressure of coming to the talks uh, uh, mediated by the EU uh, alone. Because the, it, the, there was always like uh, this idea in Kosovo that the team uh, represented Kosovo should be uh, inclusive, not uh, in this particular situation created yesterday without the uh, president who is indicted. Well, but again, this is something for, for our partners in Kosovo to sort out uh, internally. We are there, the table is ready, the dates can be agreed. And uh, it's not up to us to point out and choose the interlocutors. In this case, it's for Kosovo to choose and decide who will be representing, under current circumstances, the interests of Kosovo in the best way that the dialogue can move on. And this is the key task, to resume the dialogue. Thank you. I think we have exhausted uh, this issue, so let us move on. Um, are there other questions on the meeting tomorrow itself? Girakina, is it on the meeting? Or, an, go ahead. No, it's not, it was just a follow-up for Peter, if I may. All right, go ahead. Well. Okay, Peter. If you say that uh, you can set the dates, dates were already set according to, the, to Miroslav Lajčak, who said last week that he has the dates and he has the willingness of the parties. Now, according to what you said so far, is it fair to say that you still aim to respect the timetable concerning dialogue and have at least one meeting during July? Well, let me be clear. There was no timetable. There was determination and willingness to proceed and have a, have a date and have a meeting in uh, Brussels in July. The determination, at least on our side, is still there. And the understanding from the talks between the EUSR and his partners, both in Pristina and Belgrade, was that they are committed to come and to do it. So we hope this will still be the case. And 
Again, uh, as I said previously, even if it's not happening on that particular date, which uh, we had in mind, and was not communicated or announced officially at this stage because we will do it closer to the date as we always do, there will be another date because there is no alternative to this dialogue. There is no alternative to the resumption of the dialogue. So whether it happens on the 1st, on the 10th or on the 30th, at one point it will need to happen if both sides are serious about moving forward on their European path. 